happening guys? Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mendenhall and I'm excited to be hanging with you today. Have you seen the new boosted boards that drop today? Oh my goodness. They are amazing. If you haven't, you need to go to boostedboard.com and check it out. The little one, the mini, Yes, please. I would like to ride one of those and see the difference between the boosted board that sits over my left shoulder and the little one. Oh my gosh. A little one that you can just pick up and carry it like a skateboard? Yes, yes, and yes. This video, however, is nothing to do with the new booster boards. It does, however, to do with a new customized grip tape on what is now the old, but once was new. Only 24 hours ago, this was the, the model to have. All these things are exciting around the booster board world. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy this video. I'm excited about what we're going to be debuting you today. We were going to start with with some great footage of me riding boost, the boosted board today, but the blizzard has struck. It is all kinds of windy out there. Well, let me just let me just take you outside so you can experience what I am experiencing today in the tundra of Minnesota. I told you it was really, really blizzardy outside. Snow's coming down. This is actually the most snow I have seen all year. That's why we're inside and you're getting no footage of the boosted board outside today. The lens is getting all kinds of blurry and foggy. So we're gonna get back inside to give you a list of things that you need to perform such a procedure on your boosted board. One of the first things we need is a boosted board. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks a lot. This is the section of the grip tape that we will be changing today. We will leave the front half or three quarters of the board alone. I really just want to change this back V part. We need to get all of our supplies that we mentioned a little bit before. We have our boosted board. Now let's get the rest of the thing. <music> Everything that I think we're missing one item and I can't find it in the middle of the snowstorm is sandpaper So hopefully at some point in this video shoot sandpaper will just magically appear Blow dryer is to get the grip tape off because we've got to heat it up I have two colors two options that I still have yet. I'm very undecided. Th this color matches my Helmet. Oh, well, let me show you what I mean right here. There you have. See, this is my helmet right here. This is the color. Does it match quite well? It's, it's really close. So I thought incorporating the color of my helmet with the grip tape would be exactly what I would want. However, I don't I don't really care for this. Color. I should have ordered black. So this is out. We're going with the orange. I hope we get this right in one go. I like the orange to the orange wheels and the logo. So I'm really excited about putting this color on. So why don't we get to that right now? First thing up is to remove this end of the grip tape so that we can use this as the stencil. The reason we're warming it up is so that we can grab our razor blade and then we can start to move the stickiness because grip tape is super, extremely sticky. And so you want to heat it up and we want to use a razor because we're trying to pull this off in one piece, not in sections. And so that's the idea and you're going to need this to continue to blow dry it and warm up the grip tape as you continue to remove it to get it into one piece. Once you get to this section where the bolts are, it's probably best that you remove the bolts down here so you don't rip the grip tape because when you put on the orange grip tape or whatever color you choose, you're gonna have to, you would probably like to put the bolts back on top so it's a better finished product. step is the razor blade, the old grip tape, make sure that the integrity of that V shape is great, and then we're going to take our new orange, flip it upside down, 
I'm, I've decided to start at the very end of the grip tape so that when I lay it down, if I mess this up, I have one more chance. But you're trying to get every little bubble out of your grip tape so that it is a perfect match when you cut it. I would just double check that you have every corner out that it didn't fold under when you were trying to pull it off. Take the razor blade and we're going to cut along the edge of this grip tape so that we might be able to match perfectly. And we're only doing the V shape. We're only going to cut out the V shape. We will leave the rest for putting on the board and going from there. We're only concerned about the V. Almost done with it and Got that cut off. Make sure, what do we think of this? Not much room to play with there. I cut it a little close, but I think we can start to take this grip tape and get it stuck on here. You really want to pay attention to the bubbles and the creases in the new grip tape. The orange seems to catch every shadow or light creates a shadow and then you can see the bubbles. I would even suggest blow drying it some more. The next portion of this, you need a screwdriver to create the seam on the side here that allow us to cut it off. Need the razor blade for the next piece. This is where you want to really pay attention to the seam here and go around as we are trying to stay the shape of the nose of the boosted board. Once you've gone through and felt all the edges sticking out, if they're sticking out or overlapping, you need to get them off there so that it's just a good stick. If it's, if it's overlapping at all and you can flip it up, what happens is water gets underneath your drip tape and then it starts to peel and you don't want your drip tape peeling. So now what we need to do is get some sandpaper and we're going to sand the edge of this that's going to really finish what I'm talking about, trying to take the lip of this up so you don't catch it on things. But uh, I need some sandpaper, so let me get it. Bam! There we go, some, some sandpaper. This is all I had, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come along and you're going to sand the edges. You wanna pay attention to the transition area from the orange to the black or whatever choice your grip tape will be because that again you can feel it sticking up and as you're sanding you just come along and just peel off a little bit there it, again it's the details they say the devil's in the details next up we need to get the four bolts back in here all right i think we have finished the we finished it uh, let's take a good look at it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the customization to the back half of my boosted board. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Go ask the family what they think of the board. Okay, I'm about to reveal the board. You ready? We're ready. Yeah. Here it is. Wow! What do we think? Does it look cool? Yeah! All right then. Let's hope it doesn't fall off, right? Yeah. But we need it to... Cleaner. Yeah, well, it'll get dirty. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you subscribe to the channel. It is dinner time here. We're about to...